What's shaking, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Kate Bush. And I'd like to start by giving a shout out to all the Kate Bush people out there. Um, from the first couple reactions I did, a number of you started commenting enthusiastically, sharing information about her and sort of the way her career has gone over time and, you know, being excited about going through the albums in a um, chronological way. Um, so yeah, big ups to all of you. You enhance my enjoyment of that first album immensely. Uh, and when I finished the final reaction to the title tune, a number of you um, were very like positive and said, you know, that was really cool. Looking forward to the next albums. That does mean a lot to me. I really do appreciate it. So yeah, we're up to the second album now, which is called Lionheart. Um, and indeed, when I look for an artist the first time, I usually go to Discogs. I've been using Discogs for a long time. And like on Discogs, it shows Lionheart like before, they both say 1978. So I think maybe just someone didn't enter it right. Uh, but yeah, I was initially confused. Oh, wait, is the kick inside first? The Lionheart is first? But then if you actually click on the Lionheart entry, it says, you know, one of the notes that it says is, you know, Kate Bush's second album released in November of 78. So it's like, I don't know why it was listed that way. Regardless, um, yes, this is the second album. It's called Lionheart. You know, it's a phrase that's been used historically in a couple different ways. You know, there's an English king um, who's been called that. Um, ultimately, I'm not quite sure um, of the, the provenance of the term in this context. I imagine um, in one or more songs I may get some insight into that. Uh, and once again, I do appreciate not only those of you who post lyrics, but what I love is when people who just post their interpretations of songs or the way that sort of they've experienced the song like at a time in their life and so on. Um, yeah, so all the people uh, sharing insight on her lyrics um, are greatly appreciated. Uh, but the first tune on Lionheart is Symphony in Blue. Um, I'm intrigued by the title. It sounds like a tonal uh, statement, the idea of a symphony, whether that's literally a sort of a suite of musical elements put together in an organized way, or whether the symphony or is sort of the the aspects of life and you know being in a particular stream of existence. Uh, such that the the tonal palette, uh, which could be emotional, um, has become blue. Essentially what I'm saying is that it makes me think about um, sadness or despair or a, a lack of vitality when one looks out into the world. One sees a symphony of blue. If I were to hear someone say that phrase, I would think they mean that like the world is sort of dead to them right now. It feels depressed or in some way emotionally lacking. Uh, so Symphony in Blue makes me think about maybe um, a sort of sad emotional palette and how that may relate, I'm not sure, but ultimately um, that's where my brain goes with it. Now obviously blue, it's not always used as a sort of metaphor for sadness or depression. It can also relate to, you know, um, marine or submarine um, concepts or life, so it could be used in a positive way. Blue sky is often a very positive like visual metaphor for like wide open possibilities, so um, a symphony of blue, it could be a few different things, but initially my brain is inclined to go to the direction of, you know, there's a sort of, um, a collection of elements which are combining to make a sad sort of, um, visual or emotional palette. But I'll stop talking. Let's get to it. This is Kate Bush, Symphony in Blue, uh, from her 1978 album Lionheart.
hearing him roll. transitions like I said I enjoyed the it kind of had a smooth like soft feel it was sort of like a mellow song um, but yeah lyrically I caught bits and pieces at first it sounded like she's describing the environment you know it's like blue on her walls like blue coming out of her mouth I think she even said or maybe I misheard that but it was like blue was all around her but then it seemed like suddenly she was talking about like red the color of our heart and then she was talking about sex like physical intimacy and it's like good for relieving tension so it sounds like there's a sort of a, a, a range of emotions and experiences here um so symphony of blue again you know symphony is something where a number of different elements come together to make a harmonious whole um so the idea that there could be a couple different angles a couple different emotional states that are then being sort of blended into this larger symphony of blue would make sense but i don't know if i'm hearing that right so again got to listen to it some more i i feel like this song i heard more phrases clearly on a first listen than most of the songs on her first album i don't know if that's because you know maybe her delivery on this album is a bit clearer or just i'm getting used to the voice a little bit more um, but yeah, I did, hear, I did hear some interesting phrases there, but not enough of like all the lines to get a clear sense of what's happening. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know, um, you know, if you have a clear angle on the song, let me know what you do think of the Sonics. Um, yeah, just another cool, uh, song to start off this new album. So once again, shout out to all the Kate Bush people. Let me know what you think of this one. I'll see you next time. Peace.